Okay, so this is a little thing that's all about the way I draw when I'm working from a photo and I've already cropped that photo to be the, the crop that I want to draw onto my canvas. This rectangle here is pretending to be my canvas. So the first thing I want to do is mark my halfways. And I want to make sure I connect those. And I also want to mark my halfways here. Now by eye is good enough. You can rule them, you can measure them and rule them if you really want to. Okay, so I've got my halfways in there. Now, the first thing I notice is this awesome straight line. So if I come in here, I can see that there's this lovely line that connects all the way through. It shows me not only where the neck is, but where the belly is as well. And so if I reproduce this straight line, so I need to know where that sits. And I need to know it comes down just about to that corner there. And I'm really looking at how big this shape here is because I need that to be the same. So I'm going to come in here and connect this line through pretty much there. Now, I'm not best happy with my shape there. It's a bit long. I think I've let that line curl a little bit too much. So that's all right. Just fix it. Now, here, this top of the lizard's head here sits pretty much halfway in this shape here. So this part is equal to this part here. So I'm going to come in, divide that up so that I can see where the top of his head goes. Now I also need to know what happens here. So if I come in there, again I'm checking out that negative shape just there. And I want to come in, looking at this shape, looking at a few things all at the same time, really. So that gives me a spot that his head will sit inside. Looking at what else I've got, I think I need to find this now. So always work from the general to the particular. So you're looking for the biggest things first, always. So there's my fence is going to sit in there. Now this is the front leg of the lizard and it comes down pretty much here and then across in front. I've got the, the chest, muscly little dude, isn't he? I've got the chest sits in there and then follows this line along. But the other side of this front leg and his elbow sits in like this and I can't actually see any of those toes on that front foot. His back foot is sitting in here and over here and then that toe is sticking up a little bit What else can I see? I have to find this shape here. It's always way easier to draw in straight lines because then being able to look at how small or large that curve is, is really useful. So from here comes in there and the curve of the back sits in that kind of shape there. The curve of the head sits in here. So this comes down, comes out. Again, I'm assessing this width here at that widest point and it comes right in there. Got to chop the tip off there for his little blunt nose. That shape has some some modification so it's not completely straight and see how we're starting to get a lizard without really having drawn a lizard. We've just analyzed the shapes that we can see. This is the where the front leg sits 
in there. So I need to assess this distance, make sure it's correct. Bring, bring that out and down. I think I've got a little bit high. I think I have. I think I've overdrawn that leg a little bit. Okay, getting a lizard. This ear thing. It's not an ear thing, it's an ear. It sits about there. This line's pretty important too, this line that the eye sits on. So if that comes in there and then the eye sits on it there and the structure around the eye of course needs to happen. And I think, I'm not actually 100% sure, but I think that's his mouth. It's quite difficult to see. And it points at the ear. That looks pretty good. Got a few wrinkles in there. And that's probably about as much drawing as I would need to do to find the lizard. I can still keep using my analysis to find this line of barbed wire down there and to find where this sits in. But that's it. I've pretty much got what I need. The next step would be to rub out all these lines on here because they're willow charcoal on canvas, yeah? In your case, I can't really rub them out here because I'm on a drawing tablet. But that's how you draw using analysis. See ya!